It's a real thrill to be here for session number two of Sing Victoria Requiem. Put your hands on your tummy and we're going to use an SH sound like shh. And we're going to do it over two semi briefs. So this is the tempo. Ready? One, two, three, four. Good. Now we're going to do minims. So we're doubling the amount of notes. Ready? One, two, three, four. Shh. 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 Excellent. How about crotchets now? Ready? One, two, three, four. Shh. 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 Excellent. And finally, Quavers. So keep it going and make sure there's a little stop between each sound. One, two, three, four. There we go. Well done. That's really getting the core going. We're going to do some closed lip humming like this. I'll put the piano in. That's a nice organ sound for later. So we'll do. Keep it really gentle and a nice sort of open mouth, even though the lips are closed. Ready? One, two, three, four. finish the warm-up with the five Italian vowels in half scale so here we go and Miranda and I have worked hard recording the tracks for you and I hope you enjoy them. We certainly enjoyed recording them. I'm going to conduct in two by the way so watch out for that. Altos, could you find bar 23? And we're just going to have a little go of that. It's got one of these, a very early music, very Victoria octave drops. So, let's sing it together, Altos, from bar 23. Ready? One, two, and go. Now the beginning of the 
third section, the return of the Kyrie, as I say, stronger. We've got the tenor twos and the basses back, and we've got this rather lovely, resplendent, spread out F major chord. <laughs> It's really rather gorgeous. Now I'm just going to touch on the tuning. In order to get that chord to sound even better than the organ sound here, that's quite in tune, but it's not as in tune as it could be, believe it or not, because of equal temperament. We would like to have just tuning. So the people singing the fifth note, I'll try not to get too bogged down with technicalities here, but it is really useful. Uh, the people singing the fifth, so that is tenor ones and also soprano twos, cantus two, you're going to make sure that fifth is sitting slightly higher than you usually would, okay? And then the people on the third, who happen to be soprano ones in this case, that note there, you're going to make that lower than usual. I'm going to play the tonic note and the rest of you build the chord around that. Ready? And... Good, so hopefully the fifths and the thirds were putting that into action. That's called just tuning. Now, there's a wonderful moment that I'm going to get the cantus ones and twos to practice. Do you see these descending suspensions that are happening? They're absolutely wonderful. Bar 34 onwards. Okay, cantus two and cantus one. One, two. Here we go. Yeah, last four bars, tenor twos. Ready? One and two. Quite baritonal actually, isn't it? Right in your boots there. So let's for now move on to the graduale, turning over. of et lux perpetua, let's keep that A sound nice and close, not perpetua, but perpetua. So just repeat after me everyone, et lux perpetua. The main interest, however, in this section at bar 23 onwards, is the altos. We've got this wonderful moment altos on justus cadencing into E major. It's rather fantastic. So there's your note, altos. We're going to sing that little bit together, altos, okay? Ready? So it's bar 24 and one, two. That's just fantastic, isn't it? It's very Victoria. It's really, really wonderful. So altos keep that a really rounded ooh sound and keep everything very smooth around that point. We've gone into a lot of detail this evening. I hope it's been helpful. But time now, I think, to sing both movements through without any interruptions from me. I hope you enjoy it. Such beautiful music. 